Hello, everybody. My name is Zola, and welcome to Modding Dragon Age Origins. Uh, you may notice my sound quality is taking a big dive, and that is because this video has been plagued with a ton of problems. This isn't even the video that I intended to put up today. I intended to cover a quest mod, but unfortunately I've been plagued with so many videos that I had to uh, stay up really late tonight and rush produce this video today. Uh, that's not to say anything about the quality of the mod. The mod is very awesome, but it has a very simple uh, ability to be spotlighted, so that's why I'm covering it today. So if there's any editing errors, that's because I've probably only spent two hours making this video. It was super, super rushed. I finished it as quickly as I could, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the map texture mod for Dragon Age Origins. All right, so here we have the map texture mod for Dragon Age Origins. We're looking at the original map of Ferelden. These are the maps you see in the background in Denerim and the Deep Roads and all that kind of stuff. If you look here, you'll see this is the new map. Uh, it's a much nicer retexture. puts in a lot of details, a lot of darks, and that kind of thing. Uh, I personally enjoy this kind of map. Uh, this is just a screenshot of it without the icons and such. Uh, and the mod comes with two versions. There's uh, the new version, uh, and then there's a canvas version. And it might be hard to see on YouTube here. I did my best to show it off, uh, but play the video in the highest quality on full screen, and you'll be able to notice that it kind of looks like it's been stitched. Uh, on a piece of canvas, like the ink is, is on a stitched canvas. It's hard to tell the difference between this and the new because it mostly uses the new texture, but the canvas one just looks like it has a canvas finish on it. Uh, I think the biggest difference for this mod, however, is in places like the Deep Roads where it really, really brings out the darks and just puts a lot more life into these maps, uh, like if you pay attention uh, to the lava and all that kind of stuff, it just looks a lot better, or whatever the red's supposed to be, I can never remember. But yeah, no, it makes the, the maps look a lot nicer. There's no real reason not to download this mod. Uh, personally, I prefer using the canvas version. Uh, a mod like this is simple, effective, and you should just go ahead and check it out out. There's not much more for me to say. That's really all it's going to be. It's going to be a really short episode today, like I said, because I, well, unfortunately, I uh, failed at making the video before. I've been having a lot of problems. Denerim is an especially nice place. Uh, if you look at the level of detail that gets added as I do the little pan crop animation thing here that I just quickly whipped up, I probably would have done a better job of this if I had more time again, but yep makes the map look a bit less faded, which I personally enjoy. Uh, uh, and uh, the canvas one here, oh, that was a weird little editing thing that I might have to fix. Uh, the canvas one, again, looks like canvassing. No reason not to check this mod out. Go ahead and download it. Let's take a look at the installation. Um, also found out it's kind of weird that I noticed the editing thing and never bothered to fix it. That's really odd. Anyway, installation. Alright, so let's talk about the installation process for this mod. Uh, we are going to actually have to uh, go ahead to the Dragon Age Nexus, uh, download the file manually. This is going to be an override mod, so, uh, you know, just be aware of that. It'll take a little while to download, uh, so I will just cut to when that has been completed. Alright, uh, map textures downloaded without a hitch. Gonna go ahead and use WinRAR to extract the files here. Uh, you can use Windows 7 if you'd like. Uh, so this is what you'll get. There are the non-canvas or the canvas ones and a text document that explains how to install them. It's really easy. Basically just pick whatever one you want. Uh, so I want the canvas ones. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's uh, really simple. And place the appropriate folder in the override file. So let's do that. Uh, I have my override file here, my documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, Packages, Core, Override, uh, I'll get the canvas maps, and we're done. That's it. The mod's installed. I know, you don't even really need to watch the installation information, but I put it in there for completeness sake. If you stuck around this long, uh, I think you're really awesome. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Sorry that this was such a uh, quick one. Uh, like I said before, it was a rush to complete, and I just did it. I'm working on a unboxing video. 
a couple more videos of the KOTOR Let's Play, that kind of thing. And I've been planning on starting up a Elder Scrolls Skyrim modding series, so I've been, I've been a little bit busy along with uh, school and such, so please forgive me. I know. Well, do you forgive me? If you forgive me, leave a comment. If you hate me and you think that it's absolutely 100% unforgivable, leave a comment. Anyway, uh, I'm just stalling at this point to make the video longer. I have been Zul. Have an excellent day.